Welcome back. In this video, we will see how we can modify a solid form in massing and then how we can add some floor, roofs and curtain walls to it in a project environment. So, once the solid form is created, it can be modified using move, rotate and other command. Once you finish the conceptual mass, then it can be loaded into the project environment and then we can add the building elements like floor, roof, wall, curtain wall. So let's switch to Revit and see how we can create this. So first of all, I'll go and create a new conceptual mass. Let's go to conceptual mass, select metric mass.rft and then click open. So let's suppose I would like to start working in the ground floor. So let's select this and click on set. So our work plan is set up. Next, we go to top view and then I would like to create a rectangle of size let's take an example of 15 meters by 15 meters once done I can move it in the middle and then I can use create we can select the sketch click on create form and then select solid form and then I can give the height so let's suppose I would like to give the height of 30 meters So once added, okay, let's increase the height to 50 meters. So once added, now how we can modify the solid form? So one way we can modify is we can select the face by pressing, we can just hover over the one of the edge and then press tap couple of times and then we can select. And then one way is we can select this gizmo and then we can move it like this. Another way we can do it is we can select for example the top face and then we can go to rotate and then we can make a twist. Or else you can pro give a combination of commands. So I rotate it here and then I will select one of the edge and then I'm going to use a gizmo and then we'll move it. So once done, now next Let's suppose my conceptual mass is ready. Now let me save this. So let's save it into the family. So let's make it mass 03 and then save. Once done, I would like to load this mass into the project environment. So for that, let me start a new project this time. Select the architectural template, then click OK. Now let's go back to the conceptual design environment and then I will use load into project option. So let's click on load into project. You can close the dialog box and then very carefully you can press it on the approximately on the center. Once done you can press escape key to come out of the command and then click on 3D view. So now you can see the conceptual mass has been added to the project environment. Now next I would like to add some flows to it. Now before adding the flows, I would like to add some levels. So to create the levels, as we know already, we can go to elevation view. Let's suppose I'm going to the south elevation and already there are some uh, levels are present. So let it be, for example, 5000. So let's suppose I would like to create 10 levels at, this, at a height of 5 meters each. So let's select one of the level. And as we have learned already, we can use array. So we need to create nine more levels starting and I don't want to group and associate. So select the first point and then I will give it 5000 and then enter. So now you can see 10 levels has been added. Now once done, we can go to 3D view. And then to add the mass flow, follow the steps. So for this, select the mass first. And then once you select the mass, you can see it will highlight mass flow. So click on mass flow and then from the dialog box you can check mark all the flows in which you want to create the flow. So I can select first level and then you can go to the bottom one and press shift and select the rest and then click on check mark. Once then click on OK. So let's go to consistent color mode so you can see the mass flow has been added to it. Now if you zoom and see actually there is no 
actual floor is been added so there is no thickness this is just the mass flow so what is the benefit of getting this mass flow you can just select it and then you can get the floor area external surf surface area and the floor volume so now in case you would like to add the mass flow so you can go to massing and site and then from here we have the actual floor which is floor by face so click on floor by face and then you can make a so window selection and then select all the surface or uh, all the mass floor sorry and then you can go and click on create flow so once done you can zoom it and check all right now next if you would like to add the roof so we can go to roof by face and then we can select on the top face and click on create roof so now you can see the roof has been created Next, if you would like to add the wall, you can click on wall by face option and then select any one of the edge. Or if you want, you can add this wall to multiple edges. In case you don't want to add this wall and you would like to add the curtain glass wall, then use this option. Go to massing and site and then go to curtain system by face. So select curtain system by face and then carefully select all the faces. can press shift and then we'll select all the faces so once all the faces are selected we can click on create system and then you can see it will add the curtain walls to it now if you would like to hide the mass flows then what we can do is we can simply select everything then go to filter and then check none select mass floor only and then apply click ok right click hide in view and then by elements so now you will see that the mass floor is hidden and floor by face will be visible to you if you want to hide this level so as we know we can go to visibility graphics from the properties or else you can type vg and then from annotation category we will select levels and then uncheck it apply and then ok so this is how you can create a mass in the conceptual design environment, then load it into the project, and then you can add floors, roof, and then cut a system to it. So in the next video, we will see how we can create a twisted tower, and then how we can create a dome structure in massing. Thank you very much.